video is one of the toughest videos I probably had to do. Coming up with top 10 soaps of 2020. I used over 70 soaps. So many of them were amazing where I, they could have easily got into the top 10, but I really went to three things. It was ingredients, performance, which is lather and feel on your skin and uh, scent. So those three things really what is what made up the top 10 list. And there were ones that I, if I could have did a top 20, it would have been a lot easier on me but uh, I had to come down to top 10. I wanted to keep it fair. Uh, I'll give a quick shout out to Iowa Beard because this is definitely my favorite, uh, of favorite beard oil of 2020 for uniqueness, art, and just feeling beard. Uh, the Hitchhiker was my favorite, so I'll throw a quick shout out to that. I love that. I'm still using it. I, I use it almost every other day I'm using it, so quick shout out to that. So back to soap. So I'm gonna be doing top 10. I'm gonna include pictures uh, in, you know, embedded in the video. I'll put on the, the bottom, the description will have all the links to the videos that I did, the original reviews of these, and, and where you can find those soaps. So they're going to be kind of a quick uh, overview of my thoughts and why it's in the top 10. And I might turn left because that's where the list is and I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. But I do know that the first soap is Desert Lily and it's a peppermint tree uh, soap and you'll see a picture of it. It... One of the reasons why it made the list is because I got a sample of this soap and it and it the feel of it was absolutely amazing. Uh, it they they put Tusser silk in it and it, it had a very like lather very soft soothing feel. The scent was great. It was the perfect mixture of peppermint and tea tree oil. It almost had like a fresh air scent to it. One of my favorite soaps of the year, obviously, because it made the list, it's number 10. Uh, and I got this as a sample and I wound up getting a, a full bar of it because I liked it that much. And there's not too many soaps that, because I, I review so many soaps, there's not too many soaps that I actually go out of my way to try to get another of it, another of it. And uh, this soap was just amazing. So highly recommend it. Number 10, Desert Lily, the peppermint tea tree oil. I'm assuming that anything you get from them are, is gonna be great. I had Dragon. I think I used the Dragon Blood, which was awesome. The same feel of, of that, that silky, uh, very luxurious bar of soap that you're gonna feel and uh, highly recommend that one. So on to number nine, Forage Farms. And th so there's a tie between these two. I had Oak Moss and Orange Vetiver. Orange Vetiver, probably a little bit more. I love that soap. I just used it so long ago that it was hard for me to, to decipher if I like the, their Oak Moss or better. It's a goat milk soap. Great soaps. Uh, check out my original review for Orange Vetiver. I loved it in the review. It, these are both soaps so far, both essential oils, and there's no fragrance oils in them. Uh, and I just, Forest, Forage Farms has great soaps. I just, I have a tobacco amber from them that is amazing. Um, but the two favorites that I have is Oak Moss. Oak Moss is such a great scent. I want to see it in more things. I want to see it in beard oils. I only typically see it in soap so far. It, it's a great scent. It's a very fresh, fresh scent uh, of outdoors. It's not like too foresty, but it's like more of a, a meadow, like a fresh air meadow smell. It's, it's just, it's so good. So Forage Farms, number nine, and coming in at number eight. Simple Japanese. Uh, if you've seen the video on this, I, if you haven't seen the video on this, I highly recommend it. They, these soaps came in uh, an origami box. Amazing presentation. Amazing soap. So this is the, the Spice Sandalwood goat milk uh, soap. And that sandalwood smell with the spice in there, it was just so great. The feel of the soap was awesome. The whole presentation overall, uh, great. So I'll, I'll put a little picture of, of what the box looks up looks like and the soap itself. Check out that review because the unboxing of that and showing how, how nicely these things are packed and the unique ingredients that, that she uses to make these soaps, it's just, it, it's amazing. You're not gonna get any type of soap like that from anywhere else. It's, it's very unique because of the imported Japanese ingredients and the things that she uses in there. It, it's just, you're gonna get something that I think you'll truly love and you're not gonna be able to, uh, to duplicate it or I haven't seen anything, anything close to that. So that is number eight. And now on to number seven. And one of my favorites of the year. So number seven is one of his, is a soap that I, it, it reminded me of childhood. Uh, it was just, it, it had such a great scent. It was like fallen leaves and old books and it's from Scrub Happy and it's called Library. 
this soap had one of my favorite scents of the all of the top 10 uh in fragrances i've never smelt anything like it and i've tried over 70 at least seven probably 100 soaps really at this point and i have not sent i have not smelt anything like this uh the the name library was I think perfect for it and it brings into so the names of soaps bring into the experience because then I'm looking for stuff that's going to smell like a library it had a musky fallen leaves outdoor scent it just it brought me back to childhood it brought me back to thinking of of movies and and outdoors playing in the fall it was just such a great great soap perfect feel uh I've tried other soaps from scrub happy and I love them I had a Christmas one I think it was under the mistletoe I wish I would have got to that review and it, I didn't, but it was that was probably one of my favorite holiday soaps. Uh, and now they have a, a whole Harry Potter uh, line, which I, I get something from Scrub Happy. Library is great. I'm sure every soap that so far that I've gotten from them have been has been awesome, but um, that was my favorite favorite scented fragrance of of the year. It, Library just amazing, perfect amount of fragrance. I, I wish I still had one. I need to pick up one actually. And we're on to number six. I, so number six is, this woman is an artist, uh, the Mad Soaper. If you've ever seen any of her videos or any of her pictures, these soaps are amazing looking. And Mahogany Apple, uh, the look of it from just the scent of it, it just amazing soap. The feel, great, uh, but the scent itself, I, I haven't had anything like a Mahogany Apple. It was like a cologne type apple smell. It was so good. Uh, it was just the perfect mix of Mahogany and Apple. And the look of it is amazing. If you've seen any Mad Soapers uh, videos or any of her uh, pictures, these soaps are literally, you, you almost don't want to use them. They look that good. But then you're backed up by amazing ingredients and a perfect feel on the skin. And just the scent is great. So Mad Soaper, congratulations. I think that was an amazing soap. And, the, and this is the top five, top five soaps of 2020. Um, number five is Moon, by Moon Mud and it's Meteorite. This, you got to give kudos to a company that is new and they, they got my attention. It was a circular puck-like soap and, and the presentation, they came with like these little holders that were like, it's, it's, it's very NASA looking that the packaging was like silver and I'll put, like I said, I'm going to have pictures of, of, of this and the soap itself that the meteorite was like, um, it was like a patchouli, uh, spruce and a bunch of other essential oils. And it, it had such a unique scent of cologne and the fact that they didn't use any fragrance to kind of get to that place and it had a perfect exfoliation feel to it. Just such a great soap. They had other soaps that I thought were amazing by Moon Mud, but that was my favorite. I, I, the second in the video, the second I kind of smelt it, uh, I knew that it was going to be my favorite and I had like five other soaps to go. I could just tell how good it was. It was like a spruce patchouli, vetiver. I mean, it was just all together, these scents merge and make such an amazing smell and the soap and feel was just was just great so highly recommend every soap that i've talked about so far but we are on to number four outlaw soap fire in the hole i love outlaw soaps i've done two reviews on them and fire in the hole by far is one of my favorite scents uh, I think it's the number one for fragrance uh, and, and what this so a lot of these soaps will bring me back to the places this one actually reminds me of Disney and Spaceship Earth if you ever been on Disney Spaceship Earth and you smelt the sm uh, the smoldering smell of burning Rome as they call it this kind of has that scent it's got a gunpowder uh, scent to it and if you read what it smell what it's supposed to smell like you're like this isn't going to be good but it works so well the soap is great it looks really cool outlaw soaps is an amazing company there and all these businesses are all small businesses that i've been talking about so far soap is so good fire in the hole uh i just love that scent it's unique i haven't run and most of these soaps that i'm talking about they're one of a kind i haven't like seen a duplicate of it and there are soaps out there that probably could have made the list but i might have had another experience with another company that was a very similar soap and it was hard for me to kind of say if i put this one in i might put this one in then so that that was why you're not seeing a lot of the, the a lot of the soaps that you might think might make it but yeah fire in the hole unique amazing smelling 
I, I liked one of the other ones that was Campfire, and I forget this. I think it was Badlands. Their solid colognes were awesome. Uh, love Outlaw Soaps. I'm looking to get more products from them. I really like that company. I think they're doing amazing, amazing work. And it just they're, you could tell that they're having just a ball doing it. So on to number three. And this company came in late. Late and kind of bumped a couple of people off the list. Uh, J.D. Bauer. This is biblical. Um, what a great, amazing soap company. J.D. Bauer is, I have their, their pine tar and they're actually gonna be the only company that made it on my pine, top five pine tar list and my top 10 soap list. So this is number three and it's called Biblical. He includes a little, uh, little piece of paper with the history of this soap, why he came up with it. He forages some of his own ingredients. I think he has a uh, botanical, uh, he studies botanical science. I mean, the, the, the amount of work and the look of this soap is amazing. It smells great, and it more importantly, it feels great on your skin. It has a unique, unique feel. And um, the top three are gonna really give you a, a the, the biggest part of it is not only how good you're gonna feel moisturized and the scent, it's that ar aromatherapy feel. The top three, you're gonna feel almost uplifted in the shower because those oils are heating up and you're smelling them. And it's just that it that puts it over the top for me. And J.D. Bauer, the amazing soaps. I don't think you could go wrong. They have a Viking soap. Their pine tar is 30% and it's amazing. And it's on my top five. Uh, I loved Biblical. It has like a cedar wood. Um, I think there's some other like, uh, there's cedar wood. Uh, everything that you can get during that time was basically in there. And uh, just an amazing, amazing soap. So check them out. I think the Volcanic pumice was in there too. So number two is high I heart nature. And this is neem cedar wood. Oh, what a great soap this was. This smells amazing. And neem has some great, 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 uh, things like antifungal properties. Uh, I love cedar wood. I think it's a great scent. This one, uh, again, like when you, it's got a perfect size, it's like a square. Uh, and and for you to use and it just feels so good on your skin it has such a unique smell and i think they're doctors or something or they've done a ton of research into these ingredients i mean it has like hobo oil if you look at the, if you take one of my top soaps and look at the ingredients of these soaps and compare it to what you're using in the shower if you're using anything crappy you're gonna be like, wow, this, I can actually read these. I know what they are and they're really good for my skin. Check these companies out. All the links and all the pictures and all these things are gonna be in here. I'm kind of trying to do a top 10 and not a very long, long video. But I Heart Nature, I loved all their soaps, but but Neem Cedarwood was my favorite out of them. I, they were close though. They were really close. They, they, I could go quickly to another soap. So now I'm on to number one. And this is an amazing company out of Colorado. They sent me a couple of things, so I'm excited to show those. And I'm gonna show Dawn Patrol by Mountain Time Soap Shop. What an amazing company. So Stacy, you could tell that she works so hard to get these soaps perfect. The packaging is amazing. The smell is, is so good. And the ingredients are great. I, I mean, this has orange, grapefruit and lemon. So I, they also sent me uh, a pure essential oil, which I'm really loving because I'm putting it on my wrist while I'm working and it's just so relaxing. But in the shower, this soap, and, and look, there's different qualities of essential oil. Someone could probably take that scent and say, I'm gonna put uh, these three in there and it's not gonna feel the same, it's not gonna smell the same and it's not gonna give the same performance. The biggest thing I could tell you with Mountain Time Soap and why this is number one, is because of that smell in the shower that it gives off is so awakening and it fe and you have a, such a good feeling after you get out of the shower and you feel your skin and it's like, wow, this just feels so good. If you haven't tried Mountain Time Soap, it's my number one soap of 2020 and congratulations to Mountain Time Soap and, and Stacy for doing amazing work. I mean, they, they give 1% back to the planet. It's inspired by nature. It's just such a great, great company that I was so proud to put them on the top list because I, I just love it. And when I used the soap, I knew it was something special. They also sent me, which I really like this, I've been using this too, because my beard's a little longer. They sent me a wooden brush. And the coolest thing I thought, and for someone like me, from Matador, 
is a flat pack soap bar case. So I'm gonna start using this. I kind of wanted to show the package, but it's got like a, it's kind of like a vinyl type material. I don't know exactly what it is. It's ultra light. It fits most soaps. It def it fits this. And after you use it, you know, you put, you put your soap in there and let it dry off in here and you're gonna get a lot more uses out of your soap. It's also great for travel. So if you're traveling or if you're looking to get the most out of your soaps and don't leave them in the shower, because if someone else goes in there and uses it, even if it's on a little bit of a bar or, or like a little hand, a little case, um, if it's on a dish, I'm sorry, soap dish. If it's on a soap dish, it still might get wet and still might run. That is the perfect case for them. And I can't wait to use Dawn Patrol again because they sent me a whole new one. Amazing soap. All top 10, congratulations. I, I'm telling you that uh, that it was not easy to come up with, with a top 10 of all the amazing soaps that I used, but um, it was every company that's on here, I'm proud to say that they uh, they deserve it. They're hardworking small businesses. So check them out. All the links are gonna be in the description. Hopefully I do a good job with editing and putting pictures up so that you can see them. And I hope you enjoyed my top 20 as much as I enjoyed putting together this list. Again, congratulations to everybody on it. You guys uh, stood out from a lot of amazing, amazing companies. So um, hope you enjoyed this and looking forward to now a top 20 of 21. I'm sure there'll be some probably on here that will be next year, but there might be some new ones because there's a lot of soaps I need to try still. And I know there's a lot of great companies. So thanks for watching and have a great rest of the day. Today's review is gonna be on four different products from Detroit Grooming. I have two butters, one oil, and a bar of soap. So I'm gonna start off with Belle Isle butter. And I bought a two ounce of this. I think I bought it off Amazon. Uh, this is early on, probably one of my first butters that I bought. You can get this, I wanna make sure I get the price right, for $15.95, uh, and it's two ounce. They do have four ounce. I think the four ounce is $24.95. I should've got the 24, because I use this quite a bit. And I like this at night. It smells so good. I think Dan C talked about this one. I, I believe that's how I found it. He was talking about how this is the perfect nighttime butter. And uh, he was right, orange lavender. And his, so Detroit Grooming, I like the the, the, the logo is really, uh, really cool. Uh, the smell itself is exactly, his, his, most of their scents that I have, at least I have Corktown in this, they're simplistic, but in, a, in the best way possible. The orange lavender is perfectly balanced. This butter looks, very different than what I'm used to. It breaks down super fast. You can almost see it like when I put it on, it, it just, it immediately breaks down. Immediately breaks down. It smells terrific. Um, I love this this butter, especially at night. It's super conditioning. It, it, it is, I highly recommend any of Detroit pro, uh, grooming's butters. So let's just go over some of the ingredients. I'll list them in there, but just to give you an idea of the second ingredient in here is uh, vitamin E and the first ingredient is sweet almond oil. I'm wondering, and then sunflower oil, which is probably why this is the color it is, because it's not, I'm not used to that color uh, from most butters. They're usually white, but this one is like, almost like an oil butter. It breaks down so fast and it absorbs into your skin even faster especially the oil. The oils, like the butters, they're more obviously conditioning for the outside of your hair, but the oil was like the first one that kind of uh, broke down and I didn't even see it on my hands. I was like, whoa, where did it go? Well, yeah, it got absorbed into my skin, which was great. So this is the five ounce, I mean 0.5 ounce. I got Corktown. After I bought that, I was like, I need more of their, their products. This is a, a vanilla tobacco cedar wood. I get the vanilla and the oil uh, more, but when it's put on beard, I get the tobacco and the cedar wood in the background. Uh, the tobacco kind of comes out in such a nice way. And this is the very, the ingredients are very similar to the butter. First is sweet almond oil, vitamin E, sunflower, uh, safflower, rice bran oil, apricot kernel oil, avocado oil, wheat germ oil, fragrance and essential oil. This, this is my fit. So I love the, 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 the um, Belle Isle, the orange and lavender, but I love t 
tobacco smell and this tobacco is probably the perfect balance of vanilla where it's not overly sweet and then the tobacco comes out in the front and then you get that cedar wood in the back to kind of just make it perfect. It, it, tobacco vanilla cedar wood, I, I recommend this. One thing I will tell you is I didn't know this, but uh, I probably should have should have looked at it. Looked at it. It doesn't come with a dropper for the 0.5. It's 50, It's it's 13.95. Uh, I like that that I can get like half ounces because I don't use that much and um, I can buy a bunch of them. So very cool. I recommend Corktown. Their butter is the same. I use it as, at night because <laughs> I just love this smell so much. And I think it's like when my beard's dry, I like to put uh, Detroit Grooming's products in there. I think it's ultra conditioning. I can't recommend this any more than I think I am already. And I say that a lot because there's so many great products out there. But this Beard Town, I mean, uh, Beard Butter by Corktown, it, it's great. If you're looking for tobacco smelling, that I, I would say it's the the perfect balance of vanilla and tobacco and then you also it's not overly sweet and then the cedar wood i think probably takes away from that vanilla sweetness and it's just like it's just a good tobacco cigar smelling scent in a way i love it i use their bar of soap uh this is a peppermint charcoal which was was really good i really liked it it, it, it i believe it's uh 6.95 for four ounces let me, yeah, for four ounce bar, it lathers and, and um, the performance wise is great. Like it, it is one of those bars that's gonna lather all, like crazy. And there's some ingredients in there that'll push that, but it, it is, it's a great bar. If you're looking for, a bar, if you're on their website and you're looking for a bar of soap, like that maybe uh, you can throw in there if you're buying oil. I keep doing that because it just looks cool. Uh, but yeah, I recommend it, it's really good. It's a good bar of soap. I highly recommend their their oils and butters if you haven't bought anything from detroit grooming they have a, a slew of products they have tons of products I, their butters some of the best you'll hear people talk about them you don't have to take my word for it there are tons of people if you if you look up detroit grooming that talk about how good their butters are and how ultra conditioning they feel uh, they're great nighttime butters i like to put it in every once in a while i have a bunch but they somehow every week get into my my mix so you know that they're they're good because i do have a lot of butters and oils and bars of soap so that's it for detroit grooming uh check them out link in the in the description of this video thank you for watching really appreciate it if you like the content uh, hit the subscribe button if you like this video and you like detroit grooming hit the like button uh i'm pointing up but it's pointing down that's where the like button is Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Have a great day.